सच अ बिग बिग क्लासरूम यार देखो एग्जामिनेशन में कोई चोरी चकारी ना हो इसके लिए कैमरे भी लगे हुए हैं और क्लास में कोई बदमाशी ना हो सी जेडब्ल का क्लास की हाउ जे स्टूडेंट आर स्टडिंग गुड मॉर्निंग हाय तो इस वीडियो में हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं क्लासरूम्स की तो आज इस वीडियो में क्लासरूम टूर कराएंगे जहां पे आप लोग पढ़ने वाले हैं वेदांतु बैंगलोर का सेंटर वीएलसी बैंगलोर तो चलो देखते हैं कितने मस्त क्लासरूम्स हैं यहाँ पे और ट्वेंटी फुल ऑफ एयर लाइट एंड क्वाइट बिग चलो देखते हैं ओ माई गॉड सच अ बिग बिग क्लासरूम यार देखो ऐसे बेंचेस तो आई गेस हमारे कॉलेज के टाइम पे हुआ करते थे कॉलेज के टाइम पे इतने बड़े बड़े बेंचेस होते थे और इतनी मस्त वाली क्लासरूम होती थी कोचिंग uh, में या इवन स्कूल में मैंने ऐसा नहीं देखा है क्योंकि स्कूल में भी मैंने जो बेंचेस तुम्हारे भी स्कूल में जो बेंचेस होते होंगे वो इतने स्पेस और इतना प्रॉपरली वेल मेंटेड तो बिल्कुल नहीं होता होगा कितने हैं यहाँ पे एक दो तीन चार पांच छह सात आठ नौ दस और दस बीस ट्वेंटी बेंचेस आई गेस पर बेंच फोर स्टूडेंट विजिट वैसे इसमें तो पांच बैठ सकते हैं बट अगर आराम से देखा जाए तो पांच बच्चे मतलब चार बच्चे तो बैठ सकते हैं ट्वेंटी क्रॉस फोर एटी स्टूडेंट का क्लासरूम यार अच्छा है काफी बढ़िया है वैसे इतने बड़े बेंच पे मेरे स्कूल में तो पांच छह बच्चों को बैठा देते क्वाइट गुड और एंड ट्वेंटी ऑफ लाइट ट्वेंटी ऑफ एयर बहुत बढ़िया यार यहाँ से हवा भी आ रही है यार कितना मस्त नजारा है यार कितना मस्त नजारा है भाई साहब इतना बढ़िया हवा चल रही है इतने बढ़िया हवा चलते हुए पढ़ाई है कोई पढ़ा दे तो ऐसा फील हो रहा है कि यार क्या कहते हैं मैं आराम से खुले आसमान के नीचे बैठा हूँ और वजह से कोई पढ़ा रहा है तो चलो अब देखते हैं कि एक बार बैठ के देखता हूँ लास्ट मिनट की बच्चों को कैसा दिखेगा क्लासरूम ये बोर्ड कैसा दिखेगा आई गेस वैसे यहाँ पे सॉरी सर यहाँ पे तो स्मार्ट बोर्ड लगेगा स्मार्ट बोर्ड भी होगा इस साइड में और इस साइड में ग्रीन बोर्ड भी है कि अगर कुछ लिख के पढ़ाना है तो लेट्स देख चलो वाया काफी बढ़िया व्यू है मैं इवन लास्ट बेंच पे भी बैठ के काफी मजा आने वाला है पढ़ाई करने में इजेंट इट मस्त है और अच्छा यहाँ पे सीसीटीवी कैमरा भी है फॉर द सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी टू आई गेस द एग्जामिनेशन आर प्रॉपर एग्जामिनेशन में कोई चोरी चकारी ना हो इसके लिए कैमरे भी लगे हुए हैं और क्लास में कोई बदमाशी ना हो सेफ्टी सिक्योरिटी के हिसाब से ट्वेंटी ऑफ स्पेस नीचे कॉपी किताब रखने के लिए गुड चलो तो आप चलते हैं बच्चों के पास ओरिजिनल क्लासरूम में जहाँ पे बच्चे हैं और पढ़ रहे हैं उस पढ़ते हुए क्लासरूम में ओरिजिनल चीजें दिखाते हैं और देखते हैं कितना मजा आ रहा है वहां पे बच्चों को ये तो खाली क्लासरूम हो गया चलो लेट्स सी जेई वन जेई टू नीट वन नीट थैंक यू सर हाई क्लास हाउ यू गुड मॉर्निंग सो My name is Harsh Priyam. Some of you might be knowing me, and some of you might not. So some of you know me. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. A lot of you know me. Yes, sir. Okay. So how many of you have seen me earlier? Oh, too many people here. Yeah. I was not expecting. I thought that no one knows. Okay. So how many of you are comfortable in English? All fine. Hindi? Yeah. Some. Some of them don't. Okay. No. Fine, man. Please sit. Okay. So guys, I've just come here. Uh, like, uh, so you might be knowing that. uh very very soon uh, some of us will be seen here teaching some of the students so i've just come here to have uh, interaction with all of you saying a hi and it has been a long time that i have taken offline sessions so some of you those who know me i take sessions on youtube so i teach mathematics there so how's your studies going on nice happy quite happy or only happy <laughs> only happy not so happy okay that's great okay so you all guys are preparing for j so this is your pu2 second year correct right? so this year how much confident about chalo yaar so i was i uh, matlab i thought that i'll be giving you some matlab have some 5 minute of class but right now i am thinking yeah let's just have conversation or do you want to give me some questions also no sir <laughs> questions is not something very good okay so i'll i'll give you class 7th question i'll give you a question of natural number but again I, that, that there is a challenge that anyone who can solve it do you accept the challenge no sir <laughs> okay Chalo, let, let, let me just try with one question. Only one question. That's it. Not more than that. And this is just for fun. This is not related to J. So it's just a fun question. Let's see. So you all have heard about natural numbers. Yes, What is natural number? All the counting numbers starting from one. Whole numbers. Yes. All the counting numbers including zero. Correct. Okay. So say for example x is a and y both are natural numbers. Correct. Fine. So if both are natural numbers, I'm writing an equation. X is equals to y square plus 3y plus 6 divided by y fine this is the question you have to tell me the value of x and y believe me you don't even need to take the pen to answer this question you have to just think any idea nahi someone said some answers what 
Okay, but tell me number of solutions for y or for x. Okay, chalo, I'll, I'll give you, shall, shall I solve? This is just one liner. Believe me, it's just one liner. So, first of all, do you agree that this is, this could be a class 7 question? No, <laughs> not looking like 7, sir. We never studied this in class 7. So, I'll, I'll uh, after I finish the solution, I'll prove it this is class 7. So, uh, you are able to see x is equal to y square plus 3y plus 6 upon y. Correct? Now, I have said x and y both are natural numbers. Natural numbers means x and y should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. Something integer and that to a positive integer. That is very sure. So, y can also be that integer only. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, something of that sort. Now, say for example, if you put y equals to 5. Say for example. So, if you put y equals to 5, what value will it give for x? 5 square, 25. 3 into 5, 15. 25 plus 15, 40. But 6 by 5, some decimal will come. So, 40 plus decimal, is it going to give me a natural number? No. So, can I put 5 here? Because if I put 5, x won't be a natural number. But here, x is a natural number. Right? Yeah. So, I can't put 5. So, this means I have got a situation. That which all numbers can I put? Only those numbers that can divide 6 and make it a natural number. Correct? So, I can put y equals to 1. Y equals to 2. Y equals to 3. Y equals to 4. Y equals to 4 can't be put here. Because it will make the it decimal. Y equals to 5. Y equals to 6. Y equals to 7. 8. 9. And anything after 6, not possible. So, how many solutions? 1, 2, 3, 6. That's it. See? Was it required to even take a pen? And is it a J-level question? Although it is an Olympiad level question. So, basically this question was given in one of the Olympiads. And students were given to solve uh, solve this particular question almost 30 minutes. So, Olympiad, the beauty of Olympiads is this only. Uh, key, there the questions are so, so easy. Because it's just, a, now I'll, I'll tell you that this is a class 7th grade question. Would you agree? Because, okay, so you're not <laughs> agreeing to it, that's fine. But uh, only natural number I used it. Did I use anything? I did not, I did not even use quadratic equations. Did I use it? Only natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So anyways, that was just a brain teaser. So I'll, I'll uh, meet you guys again after your sessions. We'll have some uh, uh, one to one discussions with all of you, uh, some kind of interactions and rest. Then I'll go back. Okay. Uh, yesterday I was there in the mess. I had some food. Some of the girls were there. Uh, at that time, boys, mess time was not there. So how many of you are hostless? All of you are hostless. Okay, that's great. Fantastic. Chalo, I'll not take much of your time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, chalo, let's see uh, JWE ka class. Ki how JE students are studying here and having fun. So, let's see, get into the class and see what's there for JE students. Chalo. Good morning, class. How are you? So, which class is this? J? J2, second view. Okay. So, you all are preparing for J? Any one of you know me? Yes, sir. Some of you know me. Where have you seen me? Vedanta. Vedanta Maths. I thought you'll be saying, sir, outside cinema hall. Okay. So, all of you, those who don't know me, so I'm a mathematics teacher. I teach mathematics mostly over YouTube. So some of these students know me because of YouTube. Some of you might not be knowing me because you don't watch YouTube. That's a good thing. Okay, so uh, you all can sit. So you guys are having some classes? Programming. Oh my God, that's not my cup of tea. I just know mathematics. So how's the life going on? Boring. Routine. A routine is never so interesting, isn't it? Okay. So you all are preparing for J. So how is J preparations going on? Good. Yeah, she is telling a lie. Written on her face. <laughs> going good, sir. Okay, what about you guys? He is a serious guy. You are going good? Well, you are also saying Telling a lie. Okay. Uh, chalo. No issues. J will go good. Uh, so right now, I am able to see that pressure on all of your faces. See, sir, we have to do J. Lot of syllabus is there. Nothing is completed. Still thinking what to do. Okay, no issues. So I am here just to have kind of uh, like five minutes of chit chat, general conversation, nothing more than that, to make you guys feel a little relaxed. So you all can close your copies, no issues. I've been teaching J since a long time and I'll just share like kind of five minutes, uh, my own uh, experiences that what is basically J and uh, uh, why you should not be so tensed about JWE. So see, <clears throat> you all have an aim to succeed for JWE, correct? Now you all guys are studying pretty hard and thinking is our syllabus is not so completed or even the teacher is teaching us but we are not getting that time to practice and to solve questions and hence i am not personally very confident that i will be able to clear j that is the current scenario 
for most of you guys that, that this might be the scenario. JWE examination is not an examination of intelligence. Believe me, because I have been teaching students since a very long time. It has been years. And I know this for the fact that JWE examination is not an examination of intelligence, not at all. So what is it about? So JWE examination is about strategy. So say for example, uh, do you, uh, have you all heard about these warrior movies where you um, there is some king who fights with the Britishers and those king is just five people, ten people or hundred people, hundred odd soldiers and they are fighting with ten thousand people. So uh, there, there was a movie, Hindi movie Kesari. So uh, some of you might would have seen. Uh, even in South India, I had seen one movie. Uh, sorry, I forgot. There was a, some movie of Lagan uh, getting the taxes for, uh, from Britishers and they, they used to be a kind of 50, 100 odd villages and they fought with 1000 Britishers. So these all stories, what, what do they show us? They show that if we have determination and we have a proper planning, we can even invade 1000 people with a just 10 people team. And that is the power strategy. The same thing applies here in JW. So in JW, what happens? So probably you would not have analyzed the papers, but since I am teaching and I have to do a lot of things for my student. So I analyze the paper a lot. And what I have found that in JW for last five years, the question have strictly come from almost 55% of the portion. Rest 45% of the portion is untouched by J. I can give you examples. So for last three years, JW is asking questions, majority questions from matrices determinant. You know this chapter matrices determinant. And for last so many years, uh, you have a chapter in uh, JW integration, which is a big bulky monster. No one is able to actually conquer that integration. Uh, and during examination, when a student prepares for JE or for boards, since integration is not completed, so a student thinks that I have to complete integration. Otherwise, what will I do in my examination if the question comes? But in reality, in JW, integration questions are very less, very, very less. And also, uh, so uh, every in, in every paper, you'll get at least one question for integration. But for completing that integration, you would require probably one month of time. And in one month of time, how many questions you are able to complete? Just one. That's four months. If you leave that integration, how much time are you saving? One month. And how much marks are you losing? Losing four months. So what's the trade-off? Better to lose that four months. Because either way in your JE, you don't need 100% marks. So do you know what is the percentage of marks do you need in JE for getting into a good IIT or NIT? 99.8, 99. 99. So this is the marks percentile. So at this percentile, so first of all, I, I do think that a lot of students here don't know the difference between percent and percentile. Does everyone know? Everyone knows percent and percentile. So for getting that 99.8 percentile, what is the marks? 160, 180. So even at 150 marks, you can get a good NIT. National Institute of Technology is possible at 150 marks. So out of 300, how much you have to get? Half, 50 percent, that's it. So if you lose four marks, leave four marks, even if you lose, uh, leave 40 marks question, Still, it is, it is very much possible for you to get into IIT. Because you have to get only that 150 marks. If you have to get a good marks, get 180 marks, 190. 200 is 99.5%, like 99.1, 99.2%. 220 or 230 is 99.5%. You don't need the 100% marks. So this is called strategy. You don't need to study integration. You don't need to, like I'm not saying don't study integration. What I'm trying to say, don't be so stressed. Just find out your strong topics, which all topics are strong. Find out those topics which are continuously asked in JW. Like uh, one more topic, probability. You all know probability? Again, a big monster. Bayes theorem, continuity theorem, multiplication, conditional probability, all such big bulky things. Again, very hard to understand. If you go to JW, one question or two question max. But for doing that probability wala part, you have to spend endless night for understanding that probability itself. Isn't it? But on the contrary, if you go to vector 3D, have you studied vector 3D? Such an easy topic. Super, super butter type ka aigam makhan ki nikal jata hai. And in every year, every paper, minimum three questions from Vector 3D. Minimum. So you get 12 marks in just like one week. Good trade-off. So this is strategy. So try what do, uh, means very simple strategy. Ki after this class, open your PYQ books. In your PYQ books, the previous year question books, in the starting you will get all the chapters. And which all chapters have how many questions in the previous years. They will write it. All these analysis are done already by some teachers, some strategists. You will get those questions, circle down those chapters which have higher number of questions coming in the previous years. First focus on those chapters, you are there. Got it? So now, are you going to get the ID? Yes, sir. Motivation high? Yes, sir. Are you not here? Motivation high? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's it. So, bas, yeh uh, like, sorry, again I keep on coming into Hindi. So that is all what I have to say. Uh, ITJ is not such a tough deal. It's only a matter of strategy. And if you keep on studying regularly, every day, three hours, four hours, whatever you study on your own, 
just keep on studying do the pyqs previous several questions they are the most important part because they will tell you because most of the time 90% of the time we think j na j that is j so it's like uh, in villages na people do say behind that tree there is some ghost udhar bhoot hai udhar bhoot hai udhar jana nahi but no one has actually seen behind that tree so you have to actually go there and see and going there and seeing is that pyq that pyq will tell the level of the jw whether you are able to solve it or not and in the first time so you all might be having this problem also that sir we study a lot we understand it also but we are not able to solve the questions isn't it this is the main question main problem huh? and everyone and uh, whenever you are not able to solve the question you might be thinking yeah padha to sab kuch tha i understood also but why not the questions looks like i am not intelligent enough to get into j this is the common feeling which we get doubting our own self but it's not the reality you know what especially in mathematics i am talking about when you uh, study something theory is only 20% just like the glacier glacier is 20% above and 80% below the water level so that 20% is theory rest 80% is questions so when you if you have solved pyqs complete pyqs of all the chapters or even for one chapter for one chapter how many chapter three chapters two chapters two one two so see 15 chapters are there 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3, 1, 2, 3. so that is why the, the confidence is a little shaky and also one thing that your expectation is always that if a teacher has taught everything on the board now i'll go to pyq and i'll solve everything but that's not going to happen you have to go to the questions see it you won't be able to solve it see the solution solve it again go to the next question it will be of different type again see the solution solve it and for once you have to solve the entire book like this only by seeing the solution solving it seeing the solution solving it so that is the first time that you will learn how to solve questions because right now you don't know how to solve question and that is why you keep on doubting yourself ki yaar pata nahi will i be able to do j or not ठीक है एनफ ऑफ ज्ञान पढ़ाई करो ओके और मिलके मचाते हैं सो नेक्स्ट ईयर आई वांट टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस ऑन द बिग फ्लेक्स ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन देयर आर ऑल दीस स्टूडेंट्स वी आर प्राउड ऑफ ऑल दीस स्टूडेंट दैट दे हैव बीन टॉट हियर एंड वी हैव बीन एबल टू दे ऑल हैव बीन एबल टू गेट इनटू आईआईटी और एनआईटी सो विल बी देयर ऑन द फ्लेक्स आई एम बी कॉन्फिडेंट हियर यस यस यू हैव टू बी इन आईआईटी ओके चलो बाय बाय थैंक यू थैंक यू